me hear a little something on that track of uh, this dog, uh, Robert Watson Jr. Playing from the beginning. If you got your Bluetooth on, turn it on. <laughs> Y'all DJing our party for us. <laughs> Again, I'm Black Pooh uh, from Jack Yard Band. We got members out here from all go go places, man. I'm talking about UCB, New Impressions. Backyard band, I mean, we here, we just gotta put something together as a one unit, you know what I mean? So, just ask y'all to bear with us because we gonna show y'all how we transition from the, the cover tunes, from the music that you hear every day by the R&B artists and transform it to a go-go sound that we create to make it our own. So, when you first heard the first song, that was a song by Grover Watson Jr. And then right after that, you heard Chuck Brown remake it and turn it into a Chuck Brown song. So that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? All our songs are not covers, so don't 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 misinterpret what I'm saying. We do make originals. Go Go is original. But we also respect the music out there that's worth playing that people like to hear on an everyday basis. So that's why you hear Go Go bands playing cover tunes. Uh, right now, we know my, my DJ. I don't know where the the, uh, the Sticks and Bars guys went, but they, they're a hard act to follow. I don't know what they didn't tell us about those guys, man. You know, you got us out here, they playing xylophones and playing all kinds of stuff, man, going on with us, man. I don't know. I came out here, I said, man, wow, they should be at the Kennedy Center somewhere. You know, these kids are very talented. But again, just wait on my DJ so he can get y'all a snippet of what I'm talking about. This is a song that was made back in, uh, I don't know, I ain't that old, but I, I think it was 70, 1970, 71. Go Watch the Jimmy came out with a, an instrumental that every Go Go band that I know when you first start coming out playing in the streets, this is your introduction right here. Because <laughs> this, this is the first cookout song that I guess we, we really took to the cookout. So I'm going to show you. That's, that's his version with his saxophone featured on it. You know what I'm saying? That's his thing. With just some percussion and, and, and just him. And right after this, show you what the Godfather of Go Go did with it when he took it to another tempo. This is the original version right here, so check it out. Again, let's go over watch the judgment. Did you hear the change? Did you hear the change? Magnificent. I loved it. When Chuck Brown came over with that, I said, oh yeah? And he played it on the radio? I said, oh right. See, he made the mark for Go Go to be introduced on the radio by putting out a song like that that was a cover. And I tell you, he made the best of it. He put vocals to it. He kept the saxophone in there. He kept the whole live concept. But at the end of the day, he took it to a go-go level. So, big props to the guy, the guy from go-go, my man, Chuck Brown, rest in peace, y'all. But that's who formatted that for us. Hold up. The songs like that, go go swing. And uh, while you playing that, I'm gonna ask my percussionist to get back here and show you how they collaborate and just play a regular pocket to songs like this. Come on, y'all. Oh, 
go something like this. Hey, hey, tell me now that where y'all from? Where were we y'all from? Where were we y'all from? Where were we y'all from? city right here. Don't be afraid to tell people where we from. We from here. Right here in the nation's capital of D.C., y'all. Born in